I think we also have to look at the size of the victory in the House, uh, which is expected, the Dems to take it over. I think the expected number of seats is 30 uh, majority uh, after the close of this. If it comes about that and the GOP keeps the Senate, I think you know that's a reasonably okay outcome, uh, even though I think the market would prefer the Republicans to, you know, be able to keep the House. I just don't think that's possible. I don't think the surveys are going to be off uh, uh, as much as some people think. Uh, yeah. I don't think, you know, a split Congress isn't the worst thing. I mean, some of the greatest markets we had was in the Clinton, the biggest bull market during the Clinton administration. And uh, we, you know, we had a Democratic president and a Republican Congress. There was a split there. I think what what is a little worrisome, if if there is a blue wave, now I'm not saying there is, but if we say something like uh, 45 seats majority above or consensus. more in, uh, yeah, above consensus, and or the Senate, you know, goes to even or you know even Democratic, the question is, what does that mean for 2020? Um, you know, because if the Democrats come on really strong. I mean, I'm not worried about undoing the tax cuts in the next two years. That's impossible, you know, Trump being president. But two years from now, if the Democrats take over as president and Congress, they might undo the corporate tax cuts. So you got to worry right. about 2020, implications for 2020. Right. Uh, Professor, obviously everybody knows by now uh, how markets have behaved seasonally in a midterm year, or at least the nine months following a midterm. Uh, others argue that uh, the president has essentially front-loaded policy in the first two years of his term, and I wonder if you think that seasonality holds up this time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm questioning. Yes, we all know third-year presidential election after the midterms is usually a good year, but I do question whether that's necessarily going to be true because the corporate tax cut has already happened. The you know lowering the regulation has happened. Uh, it's already built in. Now we're contending with a tightening Fed. Uh, an aging, you know, uh, eco you know, expansion uh, here that uh, is pushing some limits, uh, higher interest rates. Um, I'm, uh, you know, and if the Democrats come on really strong here, I think there's a lot more uncertainties uh, that'll make uh, next year uh, not going to be the stellar year we usually get in the third-year presidential cycles.